What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you another episode of my Let's Play Ultimate Team series. So, we're going to kick this off with this untradeable rare mega pack. I didn't bother doing a video on the quickest way to do this because it's the exact same as last week. You just got to go and squad battle, score 10 with silver in forms, which there's a Moise Keen there if you didn't do the Vidra or the uh, German left wing. Assist 8 goals, score 3 in 3 games with uh, silver players and then win 5 with a full silver team on minimal uh, professional difficulty. I think I've done well to remember all that to be honest. But yeah, we've claimed all of that and then we've also got a prime pack uh, from the season rewards. So we'll, uh, we'll claim that. I am going to pick Premier League I think because they've got the most expensive, uh, you know, well... They've got the most walkouts, I think, uh, or usable players that I could put into my team if it's not a walkout, which honestly, I, I need to calculate exactly how many days it's been since I got a walkout. Um, I'm currently recording this just after rewards, and if you saw that video, you'll see that my rewards were absolutely horrendous, but I genuinely think it's pushing two weeks since I've had a walkout, and I, it's not as though I've opened no packs either. I've opened some high-end packs, um, you know a lot of two player packs as well, but yeah, I, it's just been horrendous recently So, you know, this is untradeable. Why not give me an icon? You know, just throw, throw in an icon and then a, a Bruno Fernandes untradeable card or something or a, a Joe Gomez centre-back uh, in form from the uh, Premier League prime pack. That would be brilliant. Or, or Rashford, you know, there's just something uh, but yeah, right, that's a UCL card or a Connor Ball card. But these are just the 75 plus packs. Obviously, I don't expect much in those. But the rare 50, I nearly opened the PL Prime pack there. Uh, the rare 55k pack and the PL Prime pack, I do expect something out of at least one of those. Uh, so no board again for the 75 plus. I'm going to guess 78 is my guess. Let's have a look. Oh, it's no Manny Matic, but I think he's untradeable anyway. Oh, no. Uh, is he going for anything? No, I, I didn't think so. Like we don't have any marquee matchups out this week uh, for Manchester United. But what a performance! Uh, Five 0 against Leipzig. What a game that was! Uh, obviously, my match review will be on the channel uh, in practically dark because I haven't managed to uh, get my lights fixed yet. But uh, anyhow, uh, we get an untradeable Aaron Ramsey there, uh, one below the board requirement. Right, I'm going to open the 55k pack first, I think, because um, I, I feel like with the limited possibilities in the Premier League one, that's probably better. And I mean, not even a board, a 55k pack. What does it take for me to get a walkout, man? Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, we're, we're going to you know swap just in case there are tradable ones and wow there actually is that's uh quite surprising to be honest right uh does miranda go for anything brazilian in the chinese league not really i know there's bids on there i'm not really being efficient i know but my uh, transfer list is quite full at the minute so here we go for getting level 27 on uh, the season progress what are we going to get in my prime pack it's not a walkout it's not even a fucking board man oh my god God, what is E please William fucking William come on oh yeah how long is this gonna go on man this is absurd genuinely oh, well I gotta say I did I, I, I did expect a walkout I, I'm not gonna lie the the amount of rare uh, cards that are in the Premier League that are 86 or higher, you know, it's probably got a higher percentage of any league, really. Maybe other than League One because there's such a limited quantity of rare players in that league. But still, oh, that's oh, that's so disappointing. Right, a little segment here. I thought I would complete the Anderson to Liske SBC. It's quite cheap. Uh, a lot of this I have purchased, however, but uh, a lot of it is also first owner. So... Yeah, you can see some of it is tradable. Uh, we've bought Henderson for 13 and a half. We've bought uh, Jose Callahan for 4,400. Uh, Muller for 15,000. And Immobile for just shy of 17,000. So overall, this probably cost us about 60k in asset value, maybe 70. Uh, probably overspent spent a little bit. But uh, yeah, 
Anderson Tiliskav came up against him a couple of times on Weekend League and he's just absolutely absurd. So I thought, why not? You know, why not? This will probably be one of those that I regret not doing um, in the future. So yeah, there we go. We've done another rule break at SBC and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good one. Alright, so I thought I'd complete this little um, SPC set. You get some pretty good packs, and I wasn't able to do a video on this uh, yesterday when I'm recording this little segment. But yeah, very, very easy. Uh, I just picked one nation for this segment. I've already done the other one. You get a 15k pack, untradeable, as well as, I think it's a 7.5k pack for the shapeshift, and a 35k pack, untradeable, uh, for completing the trick or treat set. I wish they did more stuff like this. Even if it is untradeable, it's nice to get a few packs. Um, so yeah, big win in my opinion. Uh, probably the best puzzle SBC they've done, even though it is untradeable. So yeah, trick or treat there. Uh, what was the other pack? Uh, yeah, a 7.5 and a 15. Doesn't cost you too much either. You're probably looking at 10K for the set max. Uh, maybe even slightly less if you're a bit more meticulous. But anyhow, let's open these. Hopefully we can get something good. Uh, I haven't packed a Rule Breakers card throughout the entire promo. So it'd be nice to break that curse. Now we do get a board. Um, is that an inform? It might be. Striker? No, it's not. It's a Higuain. Fair enough. Not bad from a 7.5k pack, I suppose. We also get a Suarez. But to be honest, even the, the good Suarez isn't really worth much now. Um, I'll stick him there for now just in case you know I don't know if they'll bring anything that'll up his value probably not in the, the foreseeable anyway but yeah 15k pack next let's see no walkout no board fair enough the 35 is what I'm hoping gives us something good and yeah I still haven't worked out what I want to do with my foot champs team like it, it's it's ass at the minute but I've got 2 million coins I've been trying to trade very badly recently uh, made a big L on the Richarlison's uh, that I stocked up on, um, so uh, it's no walkout, unfortunately. It's a Connor Ball player though, so it could be an 85 max in here. Um, it is! Wow, okay, we get Thiago um, and Yer um, Bereshechi, who isn't actually bad to get untradeable. He's probably worth now, now. Yeah, very, very little there. But yeah, Thiago, decent, uh, can throw him into an SBC. But yeah, uh, to be fair, not a bad pack, uh, an 85 untradeable. It could have been worse, could have been worse. So we've got our squad battles rewards for this week. Uh, I believe I only finished, yeah, gold two. Um, I didn't really play that much. I think I finished on about 12,000 points, but uh, you know, I was just playing it for the objectives and uh, that kind of thing. I think that's pretty much what I'll be playing it for now. It's uh, It's gone past the point of wanting to get elite one or elite two in that. It just, it takes too much time, let's be honest. Anyhow, so 25k pack, we've also got a pre-order packs as well. I'm hoping to get something good this weekend, uh, this week, sorry. That would be terrific. Uh, we start off with a board, not too bad. Uh, I think that's an inform. Ye oh, oh no it's not. Oh wow, that's a good one there. We get uh, ha Hakim Ziek there for Chelsea, nice. He might have an inform on Wednesday, but yeah, that's actually pretty decent. 85 rated, how much does he go for? Probably not a lot at the minute. Yeah, you know, it's not bad. About about 12k, something like that. I'll list him. Um, but yeah, nice. Uh, it would have been great to get him after Wednesday when he'll probably be in form, as I say. Got a goal and an assist uh, in Chelsea's last Premier League game. And of course, he also got a goal in their win against Krasendor. So yeah, I'd be surprised if he's not uh, Team of the Week. But yeah, the next pack is not a board, but we've still got the 225s, which I quite like, uh, the rare gold packs this year. I feel like I've had all right stuff in those sometimes, so let's see if that continues with our pre-order packs here. It'd be nice to get a walkout, a rule breakers, an icon, you know, the traditional stuff that you really want. It's a board in the first one, not too bad. Um, ooh, Milkinovic Savage, yo, that's another 85, isn't it? Yo, that, that's not bad at all. Another 85. Uh, he probably goes for like 5k at the minute, but I'll have a look. Two anchor chem styles in there as well. Yeah, that's that's not bad at all. Yeah, he's just shy of 10k. Uh, how much is an anchor chemistry style at the minute? Wow, under a grand. I might have to, <laughs> I might have to um, invest in those. 
They're under 1,000 coins, yo. Yeah, I, I think I've got some good ideas what to invest in on Thursday. Hopefully not as big of an L as last uh, Thursday was for me. We're getting another board. Um, what's this? Oh, go on, please. Oh, oh B, B Walker. Oh, oh. I saw English and was hoping Rashford, and then I saw right back, and yeah, for value, I was hoping it was Walker, but no, it's a troll, it's Trippier. It's not even Juan Bissaka, who would have been worth a little bit. But yeah, hey, we get Mason in there as well. But yeah, that, that's much better than um, in previous weeks. It's still not amazing, but you know, we've made about 50k, if you include the 12k or whatever I got for squad battles. So yeah, I like that. What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you another episode of my Let's Play Ultimate Team series. So, we're going to kick this off with this untradeable rare mega pack. I uh, didn't bother doing a video on the quickest way to do this because it's the exact same as last week. You just got to go and squad battle, score 10 with silver in forms, which there's a Moise Keen there if you didn't do the Vidra or the uh, German left wing. Assist 8 goals, score 3 in 3 games with uh, silver players and then win 5 with a full silver team on minimal uh, professional difficulty. I think I've done well to remember all that to be honest. But yeah, we've claimed all of that and then we've also got a prime pack uh, from the season rewards. So we'll, uh, we'll claim that. I am going to pick Premier League I think because they've got the most expensive, uh, you know, well... They, they've got the most walkouts, I think, uh, or usable players that I could put into my team if it's not a walkout, which honestly, I, I need to calculate exactly how many days it's been since I got a walkout. Um, I'm currently recording this just after rewards, and if you saw that video, you'll see that my rewards were absolutely horrendous, but I genuinely think it's pushing two weeks since I've had a walkout, and I, it's not as though I've opened no packs either. I've opened some high-end packs, um, you know a lot of two player packs as well, but yeah, I, it's just been horrendous recently So, you know, this is untradeable. Why not give me an icon? You know, just thro throw in an icon and then a, a Bruno Fernandes untradeable card or something Or a, a Joe Gomez centre-back uh, in form from the uh, Premier League prime pack. That would be brilliant or, or Rashford, you know, there's just something uh, but yeah, right, that's a UCL card or a Connor Ball card. But these are just the 75 plus packs. Obviously, I don't expect much in those. But the rare 50, I nearly opened the PL Prime pack there. Uh, the rare 55k pack and the PL Prime pack, I do expect something out of at least one of those. Uh, so no board again for the 75 plus. I'm going to guess 78 is my guess. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a Manny Matic, but I think he's untradeable anyway. Oh, no. Uh, is he going for anything? No, I, I didn't think so. Like we don't have any marquee matchups out this week uh, for Manchester United. But what a performance! Uh, Five 0 against Leipzig. What a game that was! Uh, obviously, my match review will be on the channel uh, in practically dark because I haven't managed to uh, get my lights fixed yet. But uh, anyhow, uh, we get an untradeable Aaron Ramsey there, uh, one below the board requirement. Right, I'm going to open the 55k pack first, I think, because um, I, I feel like with the limited possibilities in the Premier League one, that's probably better. And I mean, not even a board, a 55k pack. What does it take for me to get a walkout, man? Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, we're, we're going to you know swap just in case there are tradable ones and wow there actually is that's uh quite surprising to be honest right uh does miranda go for anything brazilian in the chinese league not really i know there's bids on there i'm not really being efficient i know but my uh, transfer list is quite full at the minute so here we go for getting level 27 on uh, the season progress what are we going to get in my prime pack it's not a walkout it's not even a fucking board man oh my god God, what is E please William fucking William come on Oh yeah How long is this gonna go on man? This is absurd genuinely oh, well I gotta say I did I I, I did expect a walkout I am not gonna lie the the amount of rare uh, cards that are in the Premier League that are 86 or higher, you know, it's probably got a higher percentage of any league, really. 
maybe other than League One because there's such a limited quantity of rare players in that league. But still, oh, that's oh, that's so disappointing.